Devin Brown recently made headlines prior to the start of Ohio State spring practice, and it certainly caught the attention of college football fans. No, he was not named the starting quarterback for Ohio State week one, though he could end up beating out Will Howard for the job. And that's kind of the baseline of this conversation. He called out people who said he was going to transfer. But now that leads to a little bit of trepidation to what happens if he doesn't win the starting job. So let's go ahead and discuss. But if you are new here, welcome on into the channel, people. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and the ring notification. That way you keep up with everything that we're doing on this platform because we talk college football every single day. Recap in 2023, look ahead to spring practice in the 2024 season. We play games, we do a bunch of different stuff. So if this is your daily dose of college football, then you need to survive the dreaded off season, might I recommend that you hit the subscribe button and leave a comment. What do you think about Devin Brown's comments on the future of his role with Ohio State? Tell your friends, your family, your mortal enemies, best of bros, college football aficionados, Ohio State fans, and Big Ten faithful everywhere, because we're on the race to become the number one YouTube show talking about our favorite sport. Continue to follow me on social media, every platform, Twitter, X, Instagram, at Mr. Cole Thompson. It's the exact same as my YouTube handle, but that way, conversations surrounding our favorite sport never have to stop flowing. So Devin Brown was not mincing words when he called out the critics who wanted him to transfer. And there was reasons to believe that. Let's start off with the basis. Horrible showcase in the Cotton Bowl. Whether or not you say he was prepared, the injury factor into it, it doesn't really matter. You had an opportunity to prove yourself as the solidified QB1, and you did it. And Missouri ends up having an 11-win season because of it, and so does Ohio State. And Ryan Day realizes, I can't promise anything. So they go out and they add in another quarterback, a veteran quarterback, one not ready to ride the pine in Will Howard from Kansas State. And Howard could have gone anywhere. He was looking at USC. He was looking at Miami. He was looking at Ohio State. He was looking at other schools in the Big Ten. And ultimately, he saw his shot to work alongside first Bill O'Brien and now Chip Kelly and believe that this is going to be the best fit for him and the best fit for Ohio State. But Brown... He called people out saying, I am not going to go down without a fight. In fact, there's exact words on the comments. I think people are cowards. I think people have this thought in their own head that I'm going to leave. and I'm a quitter, but that's never been me. The quote continued as follows. I have all the confidence in the world. I've never doubted myself. I've never had any waivers in my life, anything like that. I'm always going to think I'm the best quarterback in the room and the best quarterback in the country. So I'm going to attack that. I've said it through and through. I'm a Buckeye and I'm here to compete no matter what. Strong words for a strong quarterback that I have immense respect for. Because you want to know what? That's the right thing to say. That is 100% the right thing to say in the moment. You don't care who walks into the building, especially when you know what type of talent you, you have. You're number 33. You're slinging Sammy Baugh. You're supposed to be the solution about what's going on in Columbus. And well, you could. You look at the offensive personnel that's returning and you see the names that were added in this offseason. Why can't you have an opportunity to be the starter? Here's the problem that I do have, though. Now you've set yourself up for criticism after spring football. So let's just say that at the season's end, we go through the next 15 practices. And Devin Brown plays well, but Will Howard is lighting it up. He's building relationships with Jeremiah Smith. You're watching as Emeka Egbuka continues to flourish. You're seeing Carnell Tate take the next step. He's getting balls out of the backfield to guys like Travion Henderson. He's able to utilize his legs a little bit more, just like Devin Brown. Both these guys, mobile quarterbacks, a thing that was missing the last few years in Ohio State. And then you realize, well, Chip Kelly thinks that this is the best option for a team that needs to win this year is in. Well, now Devin Brown says, I'm a Buckeye and I'm here to compete. Are you here to compete now that you've lost the job? Or are you going to enter the portal? Because now this leads to leniency to where people are going to say, well, you said you were here to compete. You said that you were going to go ahead and fight. And now that you fought, why not keep fighting? What happens if a guy like Will Howard gets injured on the first play of the game and you're not there? Julian Sang has to step up. And Julian Sang plays well, but well for a freshman, meaning that you go 10 and 2 or 9 and 3. Well, everything that we expected about Ohio State is now thrown to the wayside. And it has to be because of you imagine that this team was going to be competitive. And what if they were competitive because Devin Brown was there? But Brown wants an opportunity to start elsewhere, so he enters the second wave of the transfer portal period, and he finds a new location. Maybe it's Pitt. Maybe it's Duke. Maybe it's and maybe it's West Virginia. Maybe it's North Carolina. Who knows where he goes? But he ends up elsewhere, and then he ends up playing well for that team. But everyone says, 
well, you played well with this team, but you said you want to compete. You said that you want to be on campus. You said that you want to be there. I have no problem with what Devin Brown said. More power to him. More players should act that way whenever a transfer comes in because iron sharpens iron. You hear every quarterback say that. You hear all the personnel people say that. It is one of the most overused phrases in college football, really sports in general, but it's true. Iron sharpens iron. The problem is that when you say, I'm a Buckeye, what you're saying is you're a Buckeye here. You're a Buckeye on these conditions. And right now, there's really no problem with it because Devin Brown could easily win the starting job. And I don't think many people would be shocked. If he is the quarterback that everyone expected, then yes, he should be in the running. Last season, there was conversations that going up to fall camp, you were at least going to have a legit conversation. And well, you should. But to me, now the conversation turns to, what if you don't win the job? You still going to stay and compete? Or are you going to go compete for a starting job elsewhere where you know reps are going to be limited and also you're going to have a really good shot of leading your team to victory? Kind of like the guy that was sitting in front of you just did going over to Syracuse. Let me know in the comment section down below. What were your thoughts on the th- uh, what were your thoughts on the comments made by Devin Brown? Do you think that he's going to have a shot of winning the starting job? Do you think that this is kind of a moot point? What really to make of Devin Brown? Continue to follow me on social media at Mr. Cole Thompson, Twitter, X, Instagram. That way, conversations surrounding our favorite sport never have to stop flowing. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button, the ring notification. That way, you keep up with everything that we're doing on this channel. And as always, I'm Cole Thompson. Until next time, folks. Later.